So now I have my sequence view open and I want to do some basic editing. Now keep in mind we'll be doing more complex editing in our course on mixing and editing. So stay tuned for that. For now let's just take a basic look at things. I'm going to right click on the embedded control panel and I'm going to uncheck tools so that we can have our tools floating on top of our sequence view. So it's pretty cool. You just press shift and O and here are our tools. And it defaults to our pointer tool which is almost like a multi-tool. Think of it that way. And you can get that by pressing the letter A. Our pencil tool is the letter P. Our reshape tool is the letter R. Our rhythm brush tool, good for MIDI, is the letter E. And our zoom tool is the letter Z. And if you want it to zoom out, you just press shift while you engage that tool with your click, all right? Then we have our scrub tool, which is the letter S. And the loop tool is the letter L. And then we have our Mute tool, which is the letter M, pretty obvious there. Our Scissors tool, which is the letter C. Our Slip tool. Our Trim tool, which is forward slash. Our Roll tool, which is the apostrophe. Our Slip tool, which is comma. Our Slide tool, which is period and then our comp tool which is letter B and that will be the subject of one of our tutorials in the course on mixing and editing. So let's just do some basic stuff here. I'm just going to click on this empty region here first to deselect the whole bass track and I'm going to select this portion of the bass track. As you can see the multi-tool appears here and you can see this hand is for time stretching our audio. I'm just holding down the mouse button and letting go and now our audio has been stretched. We made that note a little longer. I'm going to press Command and Z to get rid of that change. I can also change the length of the audio sample. I'm trimming it, right? And I can also add, I can also add a crossfade. Check this out. Really easy. Just click and drag to select the size of your crossfade. So now let's take advantage of this pencil tool and I'm going to create some volume automation. Let's go and change from sound bites to volume here. And I'm just going to press the letter P and there's our pencil tool. I'll draw some automation in. It's pretty easy. So use your mouse and click. Let go of the click. And you'll see that the lines are not continuous because we have to turn the automation on. And we'll go deeper into this later. Don't worry. For now, let's just press play. And now our volume will change accordingly. Let's go back to sound bites. I'm going to turn the automation off for now. Nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this grid again. I'm moving our tools over. And we're going to use our scissors tool. And we're going to turn the grid off by pressing Command and the letter C and then using the left click of the mouse to actually select a region we want to use the scissors on. Let's do that. There we go. And now I'm going to let go of everything and then I'm going to press Command again and use the click and hold it down and then bring this little note here to the fourth beat of the second measure. There we go. Let go. And now we need to use the trim tool over here and also the trim tool over here and add a crossfade. Nice. And I think we're ready to go. Let's take a listen to this. Mm -hmm. 